Hi everyone and welcome to the Better Everyday YouTube channel. My name is Randy. So on the channel, I have reacted to two clips from Faulty Towers and I enjoyed them. And the vast majority of people, maybe not vast majority, but a lot of people suggested I watch the series um, like full episodes. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to record myself watching season one, episode one. Um, and if it gets blocked, which I expect it to, I will then upload this video, the full video, onto Patreon and then uh, do some alternate uploads uh, back on the channel. Maybe one with a blur to try to get around it. And if it's still blocked, then I guess I'll cut it into, cut some pieces out of it and make it like a highlight reel. So if you're watching this on YouTube and it is not the full you know, unedited reaction, then that will be on my Patreon. Um, anyway, I'm excited to see what the full episode has to offer. I do have the video backwards um, just to hopefully bypass the block because not having it backwards will most certainly end up blocked. Anyway, I'm excited. So without further ado, here we go. Multi Towers. A touch of class is what it's called. Touch. Goodbye. Have you made up the bill for room? Just really quickly, and then I, I, I won't pause. Uh, since this is the first full reaction I'm doing of this show, let me know in the comments about the captions. I'm going to leave the captions on because I want to make sure I catch everything that is said and I don't miss anything. However, since it's backwards, I know that's going to be really annoying for you all. So um, let me know in the comments if it is annoying and if so any suggestions you might have one double room without bath the 16th there is too much butter on those trays okay there is too much butter <laughs> on those trays no 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 senor what? not not on those no sir uno dos tres <laughs> no 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 i'm i'm mucho hey eh? antiquia burro is uh, is um uh, e or donkey <laughs> Burro, burro. Oh, Manuel, e Manuel, por, por favor, momento. Si, si, si. si. I speak good uh, how you say... English. Dos. Well, don't look at me. You're the one who's supposed to... But why Such... did you say you could speak the language? I learned classical Spanish, not the strange dialect he seems to have picked up. Because we need to train a monkey. Morning, Miss Gatsby. Morning, Miss Tibbs. Good. The butter's just still on the counter. That's... Yes, dear? Are you going to hang the picture? Yes, I am, dear. Yes, yes. <laughs> well, when I've, when I've, hmm? Well, why don't you do it now? Well, I'm doing this, dear. I'm doing the menu. My husband, well, right there. The menu. Why don't you hang the picture now? <laughs> well. Yes, all right. I won't do the menu. I don't think you realise how long it takes to do the menu. But no, it doesn't matter. I'll hang the picture now. If the that menu's looks like me. Lunch, it doesn't matter. The guests can all come and look at the picture until they are ready, right? Noah, up a bit. There. Thank you, dear. Thank you so much. I don't know where I'd be without you. Land of the living, probably. Yes? Uh, could we have our bill, please? Well, well, can you wait a minute? Well, I'm afraid we're a bit late for our train. We didn't get our alarm call. <laughs> that was on the five, you know. We do have staff problems. I'm so sorry it's not all done by magic. Basil, are you doing the menu? No, I'm not doing the menu, dear. I'm doing the bill for these charming people who are in a hurry. Dear, I am sorry. Basil, why didn't they get their alarm call? Because I forgot. I am so sorry I'm not perfect. There you are. Poor guy, he's having a rough wife. day. Put the picture up. <laughs> <laughs> this is so, this is in a nutshell. My every day, you start to do one thing and then this thing happens and then you have to do that. Right now I'm relating so much to Mr. Faulty. Just, that's just like a regular occurrence. And nope, now you've got to do this. Now you've got to do this. Spend an hour cooking, you're finally sitting down. Get ready, take a bite, and uh, goes to the dryer. You've got to fold the laundry. That finishes. And then you do this. 45 minutes to an hour later, you get to sit down and eat your cold dinner. But... Well, there's the bill. Perhaps you'd pay my wife. I have to put the picture up. Don't forget the picture, Basil. I won't, dear. Leave it to me. I'm going out now. I expect you to be out when I come back. Drive carefully, dear. <laughs> Morning, Major. Morning. Come to the old idea of doing something for your fellow man. Of service. I mean, today, people just... Yes, I'm coming, I'm coming, wait a moment. <laughs> <laughs> I treat you like dirt, you know. Of course, it's pure ignorance. With a class of guests... Ah, and guests Dolly Vera made a hundred. His hands clean? Probably not. Just 
Well, what did those people ask for? Because that man just said we're only staying till Sunday. And before he said that, the couple at that table had said something to him. I don't remember what they asked. I thought they were just asking him to come over to the table. But he's getting food and leaving. Trying to have eat by himself and quiet. That's me. And you'll get interrupted. Can't eat. Not allowed. Oh, I thought you were going out, dear. What's this? I decided, Sybil, to advertise. How much? And... Yes, but now we can try and build up a higher class of clientele. Turn away some of that riffraff. So long as they pay their bills, Basil. Isn't that all that matters yeah. to you, Sybil? Money? This advertisement is a waste of 40 pounds. One moment. One moment, please. Well? My dear woman, Sir Richard and Lady Morris arriving this evening for two nights. You see, they saw our advertisement in Country Life. I wish they were staying a week. Well, so do I. Might pay for the ad, then. <laughs> Sybil, look, if we can attract this class of customer... Have you seen the people in room six? They've never even sat on chairs before. They're the commonest, <laughs> vulgarest, most... So he wants to make it, like, a more... Not elite, but fancy place. Or the wealthy. Hello. More high class society. Got a room? A room for tonight, mate. Oh. I shall have to see, sir. A single? Yeah. What's wrong with no, him? No, make it a double. I feel lucky today. <laughs> Hello. Only joking. No, we haven't. What? We haven't any rooms. Good day. Uh, number seven is free, Basil. What? No, uh, Mr. Tone is in number seven, dear. No, he left while you were putting the picture up, Basil. <laughs> you have luggage, sir. Uh, just one case. Hope you enjoy your stay, Mr. Brown. Makes me sad that he's just... I mean, well, uh, would you uh, fetch this... Gen e a la sala uh, uh, siete, por favor. Pronto? He's impossible. What? He's impossible. Oh, he's perfectly simple! Manuel, <laughs> si va, si busca mi equipaje que este... <laughs> Señor habla español. Oh, solo un poco, lo siento. Oh, no. Pero he olvidado mucho. No, señor, hablo muy bien, muy, muy bien, formidable. Oh, oh. Gracias, gracias. <laughs> <laughs> now he can eat his lunch for a moment. That was abrupt. Oh, <laughs> I forgot the Hello, dear. Just doing the picture. <laughs> Don't forget the menu. I beg your pardon. Don't forget the menu. Well, I thought you said you want right to hold the yeah. menu. Pick one. You both done by now if you hadn't spent the whole morning skulking in there listening to that racket. Give it pause. All right, sorry about that. And I'm sorry if before the jump, if there was a lot of background noise. Um, anyway, I backed it up a little bit. Here we go. You said you want right to hold the menu. You could have had them both done by now if you hadn't spent the whole morning skulking in there listening to that racket. He's been bouncing around all day. That's Brahms! The whole morning? At two bars. Comes with sprouts or carrots? Oh, a smile's extra, is it? You'll get one if you eat up all your sprouts. <laughs> Wait up. She's cranky. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, also, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that in the comments, some of you had said that this is a new establishment or he is new as far as being in charge of it. Correct me if that's wrong. That's what I am, have the impression of so far based on people's comments that he just either took over this hotel or purchased it. And so it's a new venture. But tell me if that's wrong and this is something that he already had and was already existing and maybe he's just trying to spruce it up. Uh, anyway. Oh, hello. Uh, can I have some wine, please? The waiter is busy, sir, but I will bring you the cut de vin when I have finished attending to this gentleman. Oh, fine. No, Harry. Good. May I wish you bon appétit? Thank you. Manuel? Would you fetch the wine list, please? Si, senor. The wine list. Si? The what? Vino. Senor. No, no, no. no, no, no. no. But this there, the, the red bus, look there. How long has been your man will work there? Ah. 
Have you got half a bottle of the Beaujolais? Yes. Right, come on, come on, come on. Uh, Another great coup for table 12, please. Can we? I do a beg of a pardon. I apologize. I'm so sorry. Thank you. He cannot catch a plate. <laughs> Throw it away. Okay? Throw it away. Now! Throw it away! <laughs> Mr. Faulty might get mad, but it's his. Did he just slap him? Did he just slap him? I thought the camera was there for some reason. It's his fault. You can't hire someone that speaks a different language unless you yourself. I mean, obviously you can, but if you cannot speak the language fluently, then you will have troubles. You know what I mean? Like, just do, do, do a quick brush up. Oh, buddy, like it's Not that. No, sad, like but buddy. Cabaret. <laughs> you, uh, little version there. Some all. Someone at reception, dear. Dude, I feel this so much. Yes, yes, well, yes. <laughs> uh, well, I was wondering if you could offer me accommodation for a few nights. Well, have you booked? I'm sorry. Have you booked? <laughs> have you booked? I uh, know. I'd like one to... moment, one moment, please. <laughs> So he wants this guy to stay here because yes, the guy has uh, a nice coat. Your name, please. Could I have your name? A male One boy. second, please. Hello? <laughs> ah, yes, Mr. O'Reilly. Well, it's perfectly simple. Fill it in, please. Oh, splendid. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Uh, but when, Mr. O'Reilly? There, there, there. <laughs> but when? I wouldn't want to stay there. Yes, 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 yes. Ah, the flu. Yes. Both names, please. Yes, I should have guessed, Mr. O'Reilly, that of the potato famine, I suppose. Yeah, I um, beg your pardon. Would you put both your names, please? I'm going to use one. You don't have a first name. You know, I am Lord Melbury, so I simply sign Melbury. <laughs> Go away. I'm so sorry to forgive me. Now, is there something... I had a uh, feeling it was going to be somebody. <laughs> really? <laughs> I have filled this in. Oh, please, don't bother with that. Now, a room. <laughs> a special room, a single, a double, a sweet? Naturally. Naturellement. <laughs> yeah, well, I shall, uh, I shall be staying for oh, one or two please, nights. Oh, please, please. Manuel! <laughs> Manuel! Still, it's good for the wheat. Oh, yes, I suppose so. Oh, yes, I hear it's coming on wonderfully at the moment. Huh. A sight like a field of wheat waving in the... Waving in the... Manuel! <laughs> Well, how are you? I mean, if it's not a personal question, well, it is a personal question. Lord Melbourne, let me get your cases for you. Oh, well, yes, you. thank you very much. Well, uh, you know, it's really good. Melbourne, um, may I, may I introduce my wife? Yes, we have, me. Ah, uh, my wife, may I introduce his lordship? <laughs> Could I deposit this case with you? It's just a few valuables. Valuables? Of course, please, let me take it now. I'll have it put in the safe straight away. Uh, would you put this in the safe, please? I'm just off to the kitchens, Basil. Yes, well, if you're too busy. Nice to and then I'll do the picture. I'll put this away in one moment, your lord. Uh, Manuel, yeah. uh, would you take these cases to room 21? Okay. No entender. Prende las casas. In all, it doesn't matter. I'll do it. Right, thank you. Thank you, Manuel. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Go and wait. 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 Okay, wait. In there. Go and, go and wait in there. Don't be a waiter. In there. <laughs> be quicker to train a monkey. You can't wait. <laughs> can't leave his case right there. What if somebody takes it? Oh, do, uh, do please follow me. I mean, if you're, if you're ready, there's no hurry. Oh, yes, yes, no, fine. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry to bother you. Uh, would you mind moving to that table? Uh, could I ask you please to move to that table over there? I'm so sorry to trouble you. We are Thank you through. so much. Yeah, this is uh, Lord Melbury's table. Yes. They put us here, then. Uh, an oversight on my wife's part. I'm so mm -hmm. sorry. He's only just arrived, you see. Would you mind, Polly? Uh, would you help these people? Would you move? move? Thank you. Would you Thank move you so if someone much. asked you to? Come on, come on. I probably wouldn't. <laughs> Thank you. I don't think I would. I went to, where was it the other day? Uh... Arby's, and I guess they were making the cheese sticks fresh or something. And they told me to back up off the timer and then pull forward again. So if you've never worked inside of a fast food place, that's to make it look like I'm not there anymore because there's a timer that runs inside of an establishment telling the manager or whoever looks at it how long from when somebody parked at the menu to when they left, how, how much time passed. 
So I was told to move and move back to reset their timer, which I've worked in several fast food places, including in Arby's. So I understand. So I did that, which was fine. And then I was there for like eight minutes. And then I guess that they gave my food to somebody because then they asked me to pull forward so they could give the people behind me their food. And it had been eight plus minutes at that point. And I said, nope. I already worked with you once, which you all don't care about, but just, it is likely I would not leave that table. I got come on, food. come on! After like 20 minutes. Lord Nelbury, do please uh, come this way, your lordship. I have your table over here by the window, as usual. Oh, thank, thank you very much, yes. <laughs> Did he mean to do that and go backwards? This is stressing me out. Uh, oh, no, 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 please, please think nothing of it. Oh, but it was... No, 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 no. Just broke a rib. Smallest no of accidents could have occurred anywhere. Yes, but I mean... It no, no, I've forgotten all about it. Well, Your Lordship, <laughs> would you allow me to offer you dinner here tonight as our guest? Oh, that's extremely kind of you. Unfortunately, I have an engagement tonight. Oh. It's one thing. Oh, good, good. Um, can you cash me a small check? Uh, I'm playing golf this oh, afternoon. Oh, absolutely. I mean, uh, how much? Uh, if it's not a rude question. Uh, yeah, no, well, uh, could you manage, um, 50, oh, a uh, hundred? Oh, <laughs> absolutely. Oh, yes, I mean, uh, will a hundred be enough? Sixty or? Oh, uh, yeah, well, now, let's see, it's dinner tonight, few tips. Oh, and it's the weekend, isn't it? Ah. Would two hundred be all right? Oh, <laughs> oh, please. Oh, tremendous. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, I'll send someone down to the town straight away and have it for you here uh, when you get back. Yes, well, thank you a lot. Thank you so much. No, not at all. I mean, my, my privilege. Oh, really, I mean... He's going to give him the cash. Hello, dear. What are you doing? I'm kissing you, dear. Well, don't. I hope... So he's going to take a check from the... Just so I have it right. The Lord, whatever his name is, is going to write a check made out to Faulty Towers... And he is going to give him cash, and he will then take the check to the bank, which is going to take two or three business days to process. I don't think this man much? is a lord. What? Oh, that all. Oh, think nothing of it. What? Except, well, I've had a word with Lord Melbury about it. He was quite charming. Oh, it's delightful to have people like that staying here. Engagements, couple of hundred uh, ho, 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 horses. <laughs> well, I've never seen such tatty cases. Of course you haven't. It's only a true upper class that would have tat like that. It's the whole point. A meal again and get that picture up. <laughs> so right. Um, would you do me a favour? Uh, when you're down in the town, this, this postcard food, thing is uh, sideways. Would you just pop the bank? And just she's cashing a check for, from his account and not from the Lord's account. Jeweler. Let me guess. The Lord is going to rob the jewelry store. Somebody's robbing the jewelry store. And the guy in a coat is a detective. I don't mean to make anybody mad by guessing. I just do that. Like, pretty much always when I'm watching stuff. Series of movies. Uh, could somebody answer that, please? Why is it still not hard? Is there nobody who can answer that? Not you. <laughs> 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 I'll never get it up. my holiday, do it then. Six o'clock. Could I have a word with you? What? Could I speak to you in the office oh, for just a minute? Polly. But it's very important. Later, later. That's all. Yes, I'm just going, dear. Thank you. She's going to tell him that the Lord is a robber. But first, she has to give him money. Ah, uh, usual? Uh, oh, oh, why not indeed? Yes. <laughs> why not? I just mean, uh, what? Well, yes. Did you this know guy the female lovely. gibbon just states for seven months? Seven months? Yeah. Well, I never. Oh, there you are, Major. Seven. Oh, my word. Seven now. Oh. 
I think he likes to be mad about lunch. Room you would like us to keep away from? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> we'll be over there then. Tavern. Well, well. Evening, Fulton. Ah, good evening, Lord Melbury. Anywhere. Yes, anywhere. <laughs> anywhere. Uh, Lord Melbury, uh, may I offer you a little aperitif as our guest? There you are, Your Lordship. Oh, thank you very much. I see my little collection of coins tickles your interest. What? Oh, oh, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> Old British Empire, of course. Yes. Used to be quite a hobby of mine. A little investment, too. Yeah, quite. Did you I hope it's locked uh, up. Oh, yes, yes. Um, there you are, Your Lordship. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yes. Can't take any risks nowadays, I'm afraid. No, no. no well, right. I must be off. Well, thank you very much, Your Lordship. Oh, God bless it. Yes, I'm just talking to Lord Melbury, dear. Uh, gin and orange, a lemon squash and a squash. And a <laughs> I do apologize. I that man's talking. voice, he sounds a lot. His voice, the man that he had made move from that table to another table at lunch. His voice sounds a lot like Professor Snape. Harry Potter. Snape. Snape, I'm sure it's Snape. It's been a while since I've read them. I must be off. Well, thank you. Um, I was thinking. Uh, um, <coughs> you see, I am having dinner tonight uh, with the Duke of Buckley. Uh, well, uh, he's a great expert, you know, Sotheby's and all that. You see, well, now, if you liked, I could take them with me, ask him to have a quick look at them, and uh, find their current value. I'll be off in a few well, moments, you know. Yes, please, Robbie. So eager to be ripped off. Mr. Forty, I must speak with you. What? He's just focused on the lordship. Very important. Can we talk in there? I can't. It's very important. I'm just dealing with something important out here, Sybil. Thank you. Melbury. Yes. He's not Lord Melbury. He's a confidence trickster. Come on, Mr. Brown told me. Mr. Brown's from the CID. They've been watching Melbury because Central he's going to every in the town. They're going to arrest him as soon as he leaves here, so as not to cause you embarrassment. But Mr. Brown of MI5 has been impressing you with? He's a con man. Oh, yes, of course. It stands out a mile, doesn't it? He's so common. Unlike that cockney git whose ulterior <laughs> motives will soon, no doubt, become apparent to you, poor, innocent, misguided child that you are. That's what's going on. Nothing. Sybil, I forbid you to take that case out. <laughs> Sybil, do not open that case. I forbid it. I have forbidden it. I never thought I would live to see the death. In trust. What is that, two bricks? That's what it looked like. <laughs> and he gave him $200. And it takes him a week to make 40. Pounds, whatever. He just gave him a month's profit. I'll call the police. They're already here. Mr. Brown's outside. This has been a terrible day for Mr. Faulty. Good evening. This is the real Lord no, and no, Lady. Sir Richard and Lady Morris. Yes, yes, them as well. I'm sorry. How did you know? What? Oh, you are Sir Richard and Lady Morris. Oh, I do beg your pardon. I was just the. Uh, would you mind uh, filling this out, please? Oh, yeah. uh, Faulty? Mr. Forty to you, Lord Melbury. I beg your pardon? Oh, nothing, please. Forget all about it. Ah, well, uh, see, uh, ah, ah, thank you so much. <laughs> and now, about my priceless collection of coins. Oh, yes, do you still... Do I still want you to take them to be valued by the Duke of Buckley, my lord? Oh, yes. Uh, no, I don't. The Duke of Buckley is dead. <laughs> yes, got his head knocked off by a golf ball. <laughs> Tragic. Tragic. <laughs> well, how are you, Lord Melbury? Lord Bucker. Any valuables to deposit, Sir Richard? Any bricks? Oh, or... no. <laughs> you bastard! <laughs> uh, Twelve. But if you overlook in the park, I'm sure. Bastard! <laughs> <laughs> I don't pardon him. Please um, think nothing of it. <laughs> <laughs> do, uh, do please excuse Those me. Those people are not oh. going to stay there. I mean, would you? If all of this was happening as you went into a hotel. Would you feel good about staying at the hotel if there was a police chase in the lobby? Especially if they're, what are they, lordship or whatever? I don't, I don't know all the terms. <laughs> There's money back. Yeah, they're gone. What are you doing? We're leaving. Oh, don't. Please stay. You'll like it here. I've never been in such a place in my life. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
you snobs! <laughs> you stupid, stuck-up, toffee-nosed, half-witted, upper-class piles of... <laughs> <Pots. laughs> Just one. Sorry, Mr. Falsy. Just one. He wants to hear him. Do it. Just look the other way. Sorry, Mr. Faulty. At least oh, he got his money back. I better put the picture up. <laughs> well done, Manuel. Okay. Oh, oh, lay. <laughs> Sorry about that, Mr. Faulty. Can I buy you a drink? No, no, I better put the picture up. Basil? A gin and orange. <laughs> <laughs> and a scotch and water, please! Right! <laughs> The whole bottle. <laughs> that's funny. That's a funny way to end it. Oh, that was funny. I'm excited for episode two. What is episode two called? Episode two. That one was called The Touch of Class, and episode two is called The Builders. That was good. I understand now why so many people suggested I watch the full episode because I got the the full story, the context, and the funny parts just have that much more substance when you have the before and after. I relate to Mr. Faulty in multiple different ways, uh, which I think made it even more fun to watch. But it, in parts, it gave me a lot of, like, it stressed me out in some parts just because of the situation. Um, anyway, I enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought of that episode. And if you're looking forward to episode two, if there are any episodes you like other than, like more so than others. Um, anyway, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.